It's Craig with Product Care. In a previous video, I showed you how you can use the scale to uh, determine the dry time for fabric by measuring uh, when the weight of the fabric returns back to within 5% uh, of its original weight, you consider it dry. This is a hot plate uh, method of testing, and I've taken this through numerous uh, revisions. I think this is about my fifth attempt on uh, uh, trying to refine this to a point where I'm comfortable with it. Uh, you may have seen other people doing a, a hot plate test where they take a hot plate and they put a drop of water on the hot plate as a control. They put another drop of water on the hot plate and then lay the fabric over the top of it. The fabric absorbs the water up into the fabric and then they just kind of visually time um, how quickly that fabric dries out underneath some heat. Um, I took that a little bit further. I've got a hot plate here. I've got a uh, plate of aluminum up there uh, on top of the hot plate just to help uh, distribute the heat and honestly to get my temperatures down a little bit lower. I couldn't quite uh, achieve as low of temperature as I wanted with my hot plate. On top of that I've played around with different uh, combinations of thermal risers or heat exchanges or heat radiators and the reason I went with that is it causes a slight convection current to come uh, up through these radiators pass through the fabric. What I do then is I place a uh, block of uh, styrofoam that I've cut a hole out over the top of that and then place my hoop with the fabric stretched across it on top of that as I've done here. Um, I use an infrared thermometer just to between tests make sure that I'm keeping my temperatures within a relatively close range. Once again to um, create a valid test, you've got to tightly control your input variables, heat being one of those variables. I also look at temperature and humidity in the room when I'm conducting this test. I then use a moisture sensor, which is used in the construction industry to detect moisture in walls and in uh, sheetrock, etc. Um, it says it's accurate within uh, 4%, so it gives me, on top of a visual uh, indicator of, of when it's dried out, I can kind of back this up by using this moisture sensor to make sure that it's actually dried out. What I do is just like in the previous test, I take a measured amount of water, drop it onto the fabric, make sure that I'm not putting so much on there that I'm exceeding the capacity of the fabric's ability to carry that water because it will just drip down into the uh, thermal towers here. And then I start measuring to see how much moisture is left in the fabric at regular intervals. So this test in my trial runs, like I said, I'm on my fifth iteration of trying to get this perfected. It's proved uh, really interesting. So looking forward to showing you some, some different products from different brands and just how quickly they dry out once they get wet. If you have ideas on this, criticisms on this, um, or just any other feedback or questions, please give us a call. We're happy to talk to you. Area code 406 582 0508 or send us an email to info at prolightgear.com. Thanks for watching.